chemistry at Stockholm University is on the international cutting edge in several areas. Among these are material chemistry and organic chemistry. Here at the Arrhenius Laboratory, a new research centre has been established called Excellent. Its goal is to create new porous matter at the molecular level. Well, my research is uh, related to the centre of uh, Bacillus and Excellent uh, on porous materials and this is a centre uh, with uh, collaboration with uh, uh, different chemist, uh, chemist, uh, 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 organic chemists, materials chemists, uh, inorganic chemists and the structural chemists. And so that we work together to find uh, uh, new mater porous materials and uh, also their applications. One project underway at Excellent deals with separating carbon dioxide from other gases and capturing it. The reduction of CO2 emissions is a significant problem, particularly for industry. Especially the energy uh, sections and uh, in order to uh, keep this, uh, take care of this CO2 and uh, it is important to separate the CO2 from the other gases and these processes uh, usually is extremely energy uh, demanding and also uh, uh, it covers most of the cost of the CO2 separation and the capture, so, which means it's very important to find a, a new way to make new materials to be able to separate CO2 from other gases in a more economical way and uh, at, for example, lower temperature, lower pressure, so that uh, the cost can be dramatically reduced. Another project being conducted by researchers in organic chemistry has attracted considerable attention. It has to do with building molecules that are mirror images of each other. This means a good deal for the body's ability to absorb medicine without side effects. And I can mention as one example a method that we have developed over the last past 10 years. Uh, and, and this is uh, uh, where we can uh, prepare enantiomerically pure compounds and uh, all compounds, uh, all chiral compounds can op op uh, occur as two enantiomers and these are mirror images of each other so we can call them mirror image forms and uh, these are important because they have different biological activity and, and we have developed a method uh, where we use enzymes and the enzymes can recognize, we can compare these molecules like they were the left hand and the right hand because these are mirror images of one another. And then the enzyme uh, has a glove, uh, uh, like it will recognize, uh, let's say the left hand will be recognized because the enzyme is like a left hand glove. And therefore it can <coughs> uh, react only with the one mirror image form and, and give the product. And this is a very important uh, property of enzymes that we are taking advantage of. These uh, <coughs> uh, pure mirror image forms, which are called uh, enantiomers, are very important in pharmaceutical industry because in the body we also have like a number of left-hand gloves and, uh, and right-hand gloves as receptors. And if a molecule comes in in the form of a left hand, it will only fit into one typical receptor. And if the right hand comes, it is discarded. And it can also have negative effects. Well, uh, it's true that we have gathered uh, a large number of, of the, the frontline chemists here at the Arrhenius Laboratory. And, and uh, I think it has been because of a good recruitment and we have created a good uh, uh, atmosphere and environment for, for chemists to work here. So we have uh, in, in the di or several departments here, we have people working in the front line.